And KSBY News reporter Delaney White spoke to local health care experts. She joins us now live from San Luis Obispo with what doctors are saying about the current trend of COVID-19 cases in the community. Delaney? Healthcare experts tell me even though the Omicron variant continues to spread rapidly within our community, we might be through the worst of this spike in terms of hospitalizations. The Omicron variant continues to spread, but healthcare professionals are seeing a downward trend in cases. The Omicron variant generally causes less severe symptoms, but it is very infectious, leading to a recent spike in cases. MedStop sent many patients with COVID-19 symptoms to the hospital throughout the last month, but within the last week, they've only sent a few, signifying the start of a downward trend in COVID-19 cases. There's no doubt in my mind that this surge is on a downward trend at this point. Robert says the real number of people who have COVID-19 is significantly higher than what appears on paper because oftentimes asymptomatic patients aren't getting tested and patients who get tested at home aren't reporting it to the county. So if you have many, many more cases, even though the percentage is low, the hospitalizations and the deaths will remain high. A low oxygen level is what constitutes hospitalization in most cases. Most of the patients that we send to the hospital who we believe are sick enough to be hospitalized are unvaccinated. Clinics like MedStop Urgent Care tend to be very busy early in a new surge. And over time, patients start to get better, but a small percentage will start to deteriorate. And that's when hospitalization rates go up. Because the pattern tends to move in waves, clinics like MedStop can often predict when the next surge in hospitalizations will increase. The first wave is patients being seen in clinics, the second wave is hospitalizations and then death rates. Lompoc Valley Regional Medical Center already saw their peak hospitalization numbers for this surge near the end of last week. Starting on Monday, we got down to 15. Today, we're at 12. This week, they've seen between 12 and 15 COVID patients a day. Positive patients in the East ICU now is lower than it was back with the Delta variant. For more information about COVID-19 in your community, visit KSBY.com. In San Luis Obispo, Delaney White, KSBY News. Delaney, thank you.